how are you? Heather here from Perfectly Imperfect Perfection, and this is um, an impromptu video moment. I was not planning this, but I just really feel led to just talk for a minute and share uh, where I'm at right now with my relationship with God. My relationship with God and Jesus is very important to me, and um, while I have much to learn and, and, and much to grow in, it is very much the center of my life, and um, I'm trying to make it a bigger center. It's just a constant growing battle. And what I wanted to share was, you know, in the past, I've never asked God to search me. I don't know if you've read it in the word. It says, you know, search me, O Lord, you know, tell me about my heart. Basically, like God, tell me about myself. I was really scared to ever ask God to tell me about myself, reveal my heart to me, because I was scared that what that meant was God was going to pick me apart, you know, and I was going to look at myself and be like, oh my gosh, ah, I don't like myself at all. Uh, but God is not like that because he doesn't want you to feel that way about yourself. But the renewing of your mind is really important. And in order to renew your mind, you have to be open to realizing what your thought patterns are. So when you're asking God to search your heart, he's not about to tell you how horrible you are or like throw you under the bus for your bad habits. What he's going to start doing is he's going to start revealing to you lies that you've belie been believing and you'll start to see how these lies are foundations for habits or choices that you've made in your life. And, and, you, and it's actually, it's really cool because I'll give you this example. So I had never realized that I thought men were idiots. It's it's a it's the truth. I one day was listening to another lady on YouTube, April Cassidy, I love her. She's the peaceful wife and she was talking about how society in movies and entertainment especially portray men as idiots. And then at church that week, it was Father's Day weekend, the pastor was saying how, you know, 50, 60 years ago, men were portrayed as Andy Griffith, and here we've gone from Andy Griffith to, like, Al Bundy. We've got Family Guy, um, The Sopranos, just, you, you know what I mean? Just men who do things we really don't want to think that our men are doing. And, um, and so, yeah, it, it programmed me. To think that men were idiots. And I love my husband. I, I do. And so when I realized this, I, I realized, like, I do have the mentality sometimes, like, well, I'm more educated than he is. I'm, I'm, I'm smarter. I'm smarter than he is. I know more. I'm right. He's wrong. Um, you know, it, it makes it hard for a man to do his job, which is to lead, <laughs> if I'm trying to take control of the reins and not trust him to lead. So, um, when I asked God to search my heart, I was not expecting that. And you see, learning that about myself isn't like, doesn't make me feel like a horrific person. It's just eye opening. Like, wow, we do have to be careful what we watch and what we think and what we read because we don't even realize how these images are imprinting on our brain and they're, <clears throat> you know, they are, telling us what to think and what to feel and, and they're giving us a vision that's false to what God's vision is because God's vision for men is not Al Bundy. It's definitely not Tony Soprano, <laughs> you know? Um, I think God is tough when he needs to be, but, uh, you know, he's not a gangster. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think we really need to be open to taking the time to say, wow, Maybe I do think men are idiots or whatever it is that, you know, because you might realize now that I've said this that, hmm, wow, it's eye opening. Think about the things you watch and then think about where families are going, how men feel about themselves. We need to build our men up. I mean, it's not easy because, you know, we've been programmed for a pretty long time to think that they're not capable. So we need to start building our men up. And we also need to be okay with letting God search our heart and letting him renew our thoughts it's you know it's part of the maturing process and growing and uh hi bubba hi rita poo <laughs> we just came in and uh so i just wanted to share that with you and 
encourage you to ask the Lord to search your heart and um, share what he reveals to you. Because, yes, he revealed to me that I thought men were idiots. <laughs> um, a lot of other things, too. Some pretty deep things that I don't necessarily want to get into right now. Um, something, But I, I do want to someday. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And just oh, I just always like to take time, I shouldn't say always, but I do like to take time and encourage you in the Lord, and, you know, if there's anything you need prayer for, um, I'm here to pray for you, if there's anything that I can encourage you with, or, you know, anything, I'd love to help, and there's a Vita Poo, hi there's a Vita Poo, <laughs> he is just outside playing, he's all sweaty, so, uh, yeah, so with that being said, I just pray that you have a wonderful day. And I'm excited to see what God will do in your life.